Capricorn, welcome to my channel. We're doing your bi-weekly. This is for December 1st towards the 15th soulmate connection. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Before I start, happy holidays. Whoever's celebrating the holiday, okay? Um, in your extended reading, we're gonna see if the energy that you are dealing with gets carried over towards 2018. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Here we go. Hmm. Saturn is shifting into Capricorn, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Maybe the Western, I think. Okay. <laughs> not an astrologer. Maybe just we're just telling that. Something like that. Alright, anyhow, let's see what's going on. Let's see for my Capis. You have here King of Swords. Air sign, Aquarius Libra Gemini. Smart, witty. Someone that who likes to argue also. <laughs> because they need to be right, because they're always right. Because they're smart. That's who you're dealing with. Um, you like it though. This person appears to be... Um, you find it very much... It's almost like... Uh, I have to say this. like you're, The mind is being seduced by how this person talks to you. Or how you guys are... Um, how do you, exchanging energies. The long conversation with this person... It stimulates the brain. You know, It stimulates your mind. Capricorn. You like it. Someone that you can talk to about life, goals, dreams, future. I always say that the King of Swords is someone who sees the future because they're realistic. They know the approach. Wow. Can be a foreigner from foreign land to of sort to of ones over here. You're waiting for things to grow. You're waiting for things to manifest. But if there's distance, it makes it hard for you, Capricorn. Even just like, you know, even just like a, an hour drive from what I'm sensing, it's already difficult. It's not like a big distance. I don't, I don't sense that. But if it is, it is. But it's about, it's almost like you're saying, it's like, if only we are together, we can do so much. Because you see the control. You, I mean, not the control. You see how the dynamic connection that you guys have. It's complementary. Um, how to say this? It's like you're gonna be the uh, you, you, the lemon in the calamari. Okay, I just have to say because the calamari is just a calamari without the lemon. It's not. It's incomplete. The salt in the margarita. You know, this is how. That's what I'm sensing here with the two of one. I don't know what that. That's what they're saying, but it's the connection between the two of you is just complementary. All right, I don't know. Okay, the bread and the butter. You know, the milk and honey. Is it milk and honey? I don't know. I'm gonna stop there. Okay, I'm gonna see here. Oh, justice card can be with a Libra. Can be someone dealing with the law, of course, divorce, divorcee. Um, karmic connection, putting things into a scale, finding out the truth. Probably past 11 months you have been working with this person's energy. Um, the justice card is very much about Sorry, when you put the thing, when you put things in in a, in a scale, you wonder still why things are not leveling off. Do not level the connection. Do not try to level it off because the scale has to be always in balance. It's a check and balance, guys. It's not about putting things together. No, it's always checking in balance. So you are weighing things so that it can move forward. So keep doing that. Don't ever allow the other person to be more than the other, you know, on, on, on the other scale. Like, they're going to do something in the connection that you're going to feel heavy, okay? So that you have to counter it, basically. If they go against you, you have to counter it also. This is what you're learning with this person. Because they're very much in their power. You have to stay on your power also. Remember, you guys are complementary, okay? So do not waver down. That's what I'm saying. Or you haven't wavered down with this person. Temperance, <laughs> even more balance, guys. Sagittarian energy, marrying of the soul. That's what I always call this. The karma is being put into a scale, weighing it, right? Now, the temperance now is transmutation where the, 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 the soul connection that you guys have is so complementary that it is materializing and at the same time is spiritual, okay? This energy that you are mixing with is, uh, is in a way... It provides growth for the both of you. Okay? The two of cups over here is that the soulmate energy card over there. Wow. 
Wow. You have here the Devil card, which is you as a Capricorn. Materialism. Central issue. Sense of control. Bind. Bounded. Okay? This is the energy of the divide. This is the energy of the universe. I call I call the universe here the divide. I don't know why. There's a new spread. So... There is growth provided, release the control, Capricorn. The universe is in control. This is the message over here. There are things that you cannot scale anymore. There are things that you cannot balance. So again, don't try it, right? There are things that is of spiritual nature. Do not try to control them. If they are soulmate, do not try to control the soul. You know, do not try to win them by doing something. Because you guys, again, you guys are the opposite. So the opposite can never mimic. You can mirror, yes, because you guys have, I don't know, it's like Batman and Robin for some reason. It's just, you guys are just, you guys are just an amazing duo, yes. But the universe is asking, release them. Release them. Don't get attached. Because I guess if they're already in their high, highest vibration, they need to show their strength the same thing as you are showing strength. Okay, I'm not sure why though, but this is your energy itself, Capricorn. I don't know why. Okay, Capis. So I'm gonna continue this reading. Okay, we're we'll dealing with an air sign over here, Libra also, fire sign. If this is gonna continue and carried over towards 2018, have a wonderful, wonderful December. I'll see you guys again. Bye.